Hi, my name is Ken. I work here in the Design Center at American Tin Sealing Company. Um, in this segment, I want to talk about drop-in style or suspended ceilings. Now, we make uh, we manufacture a tin ceiling panel that'll drop right into a two by two grid. It's cut at 23 and three quarter inches square, and it gives you about an eighth inch of clearance all the way around. Now, here you can see our panel. It has a little embossed ridge in it. Um, now, what that does for you is it gives you a little strength and rigidity, and it helps it nest right into the opening in the grid. So, I'm going to put this one right up here. drops right in. Now the panels do have a tendency to bow from time to time. Um, what you can do to accommodate that is here's a piece, standard piece of grid. We make these hold down clips and all they do is they're going to just ratchet right over the T-bar and they'll go ahead and put pressure on each side on the panel and that'll force the panels down and really minimize any kind of inherent bowing in the panel. So here you can see there's a little bit of bowing in the panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this clip right on, and you can see how it closes up the gap. And on this particular ceiling, and most ceilings, you're going to have some areas around the perimeter where it isn't a full 24 by 24 grid area. Now, in this example, it's 24 by 18. So what I did is I took some filler pieces, and our filler is just a um, it's a generic hand hammered looking metal. You can cut it to any size and it'll look real nice around the perimeter. There's no line, so it absorbs you know, any other squareness or anything like that. Um, now, the filler also has a ridge embossed in it. And what we feel looks best is if you, you put the ridge end against the wall and have the cut end run out back against your panels. So I'm going to put this one up here as well. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Drops in like so. So now you have the nice embossed edge running against your um, your wall, and your your factory your cut piece will be here. Now you're going to have a little more spacing here, and it's not going to nest as nicely. But you'd really have to be standing against the wall, looking back to really see that. And you can always, you know, then you're going to use your hold down clips there as well. And uh, the other thing we generally recommend is on the drop ceiling you want to start on one end so start with your filler get that all clipped in and then um, you know so you have access to all the t-bars and then work your way back so that's our, our basic instruction today and as always if you have any questions feel free to call our designs for any questions or help you with any design projects you need thank you